Good morning, this is Pastor Tony, and this is the Bible Spot. This is Baby Boo Boo, and Baby Boo Boo has a problem. He refuses to grow up. He is a baby food junkie. Yeah, but he's actually 50 years old. Yes, you are. So today, we are looking at 2 Thessalonians chapter 1, verse 3, to see if we can discover what the problem might be for all of us who are still on baby food. It reads, We ought always to thank God for you, brothers, and rightly so, because your faith is growing more and more and the love you have for each other is increasing. Wow! That's pretty good for a group of people who were in hard times. Even though they were being bullied day and night, they continued to show that their hope was in the Lord. You see, what you hope for is what you live for. Is it? baby food? Or is it a TV show that you've watched a thousand times? Or is it a sport? Or a hobby you're just obsessed with? Well, what you are living for may control every step you take. If you are living for Christ, though, then you have a hope that is a great fertilizer for faith. You see, when your faith began, it was very, very small. It was kind of like this. Oh, I think I might ought to just consider Jesus Christ. Or it could have been, well, you know, maybe I ought to come to Jesus. And then later on, it might have been, well, maybe I ought to trust him for my daily needs. And then... It was kind of like, well, maybe I ought to take a day of rest and go to church. Oh, that's a little bit of faith. But with no fertilizer, our faith will never grow. And sometimes we get satisfied with just a little. When we have just a little, we will never step out of the boat like Peter. We are satisfied with just enough to get by. But it is a faith that is overwhelmed with needless fears. It imagines all kinds of problems when no problems exist. It is what we call the what if virus. What if that happens? Well, what if? Well, what if the sky falls? What if? If things are going bad, like in 2 Thessalonians, it fears things will never change. And if things are going good, we'll even hear this. Well, you know what? It probably won't last. Faith that isn't growing lacks joy. And there is a lot of whining, like baby boo-boo. That's right. You are a whiner. It also doesn't rest in the promises of God. So what makes faith grow? Well, just a few things. You need to know God better. To increase your faith, you must read your Bible daily. It will nourish your faith. And by exercise. You know what? I'm not talking frisbee golf. Just take a promise of God and stand on it. Even try it with one foot. Or by just a healthy diet of God stuff. Not TV stuff. Not computer stuff. Not video stuff. Just God stuff. In other words, find some time to practice serving the Lord. Send some cards to a nursing home. Send a great picture of Jesus to a widow. Love on your neighbor. Make some homemade cookies. And send me some. You know, you are still on baby food 
when you are childish, not childlike. When our faith decreases, not increases, then there is a lot of whining. So remember, when we live for is what our love really is. It is where we spend all of our thoughts and time. My hope and time is in the Lord. Is yours? Is yours? And today, we're introducing something new. It's today's bumper sticker. It reads, Childish Christianity stunts our spiritual growth and decreases our love for each other. And now, kids, a special word for everybody else. Roll it, in. And that is today's Bible Spot. Hey, take that pacifier out of your mouth. Give me that. You've been sucking on the same issue for 50 years. Let it go. Let it, let it go.